live stream, I'd like to um, I'd like to be demonstrating the uh, the two two of my uh, workbench accessories, I should say. This is the uh, a planing stop that I've developed recently. It's, uh, it's portable between two workbenches, and it plugs into my existing dog holes. So uh, so it's very convenient and versatile, and it, uh, it locks in and it. And so it's a little bit of a an adjustment to. Uh, Center. I'll just demonstrate this and uh, you know, both a, uh, a four and a half plane, a bench plane smoother that I normally work with and I've just actually honed the plane on this and uh, then I'll demonstrate it using a, uh, a wooden half plane that I've created several years ago, more than several years ago. So or wispy thin now, it's almost like a, a linen or a, and that's, that's what I'm striving for. I like super thin shavings for for different reasons. It, it allows me to, because the shavings are so thin, there's less effort in actually pushing the plane, and I can attain a smooth finish. I remove the uh, shavings from the uh, from the. Well, that's really nice now. Bird French accessory and use a bird's mouth. And that's the bird's mouth is uh, is another plug-in bench, bench access, workbench accessory with the same similar system of two dowels and what it does is it allows me to lock in a board on edge unless it's uh, fastened in a vise. So this isn't a good example but I'll have a very difficult board to, uh, to uh, have clean on edge. So, so if we lock it in here and uh, before we do that we confirm that the, uh, that the gra grain is, uh, is aligned correctly and then uh, <clears throat> so we're always trying to uh, hand plane in the direction of the grain so the grain should be rising in the direction that we're actually hand planing so this is uh, uh, this is an example here of it rising towards the top so that's where we're hand planing and uh, Now the thing is, uh, I normally don't use a plane this large for this. So what I'll do is I'll shift to a. Uh, that's fairly. That's a fairly heavy shaving there. We're getting there. <laughs> or like this, you can easily uh, set up a, a plug-in workbench accessory like this and work with that as opposed to uh, using a. So again, I'll demonstrate it. And you have two views of me now. <laughs> the, uh, the smaller inset in the lower right is the uh, is myself in the uh, in the main view, and then I have a, a more detailed view. Marble. What I could also do is uh, do the setup with the uh, with the workbench accessory. Locked in with the piece with the wedges. I think I'll stop here for now. Same process using a uh, a wooden. Uh, I'll try the same process using a wooden hand plane. Now this is a little. I had sharpened this hand plane. It's a little large for this, but I just want to. You know what I'll do is I'll, I'll remove this. Remove this appliance accessory. <coughs> and plug this back in. So this piece butts against the, 
the planing stuff that I was discussing earlier. And I'll use uh, I'll use some wooden hand plane now. So I'll put this over, make some room for myself. I've actually adjusted, just finished adjusting this, this uh, wooden hand plane. And uh, I use a small brass planing hammer with a wood inset. So. It's not as necessary to uh, to lubricate the sole on the uh, on a wooden hand plane as much as much as a metal one because it naturally has lubricating qualities on the wood, but I do it anyway. So. so you can see the shavings; they're not quite. As, uh, as thin as I would like, but they're full. They're full width, and uh, and uh, so not quite as wispy as the uh, as the metal body hand plane. But I need to uh, the little this, this the adjustment on the wooden hand plane is a little more sensitive. So to back it off, I tap the back. Working with wooden hand planes is a little different than metal body hand planes, but the, the, there are some advantages. It's just they're lighter, they're, uh, I wouldn't say lighter, but they're, uh, they just work so much better because it's wood against wood as opposed to uh, metal against wood. So uh, I like for the, uh, the blade not to touch the uh, surface of the workbench, so they're usually rested on, on the front, on the leading edge of the uh, plane. This camera hangs. <laughs> So this is what I, uh, I normally I should give you an idea. I run this along and I look for any gaps on either either side of the, of the edge. summarizes what I, uh, how I normally have playing on a workbench if I'm not using a face slice I do.